Dorks of Yore. Hey guys, I'm Pat Kilbane. Welcome to RPG Science, where we explore the physics and biomechanics behind tabletop role-playing games. Today is part two of three on breaking down hit points, and in this episode we are tackling hit points and the mind. While the physical aspect of hit points is about injury resistance, the mental aspect is about injury tolerance. In other words, how a character mentally handles taking damage. The two greatest issues in managing injury mentally are pain and fear. To measure how much pain a person can tolerate, researchers use what is called the cold presser test, in which they immerse your hand in a bucket of ice water and measure how long you can keep it there before the discomfort is too great. In a number of studies, it was found that athletes have a higher pain tolerance than non-athletes which is in theory because athletes experience so much discomfort in training and competition that they are simply more familiar with discomfort and are thus more effective in their use of psychological pain management techniques. So an experienced fighter would have seen the whole gamut of injury-related pain. That understanding means resilience in combat and therefore more hit points. A good example of this is former MMA fighter Rich Franklin, who in one fight broke his hand and in another broke his arm. In both cases, he not only kept on fighting, he won. A novice fighter, on the other hand, might be so shocked by the pain of an injury that he loses focus or even stops fighting altogether. This would make him easier to put out of commission, which means for him, fewer hit points. Incidentally, your emotional state is also a key factor in your pain tolerance. Studies have shown that swearing when you hit your head or stub your toe biochemically reduces your pain by facilitating your anger. So it makes perfect sense that a barbarian in a berserker state would have more hit points as a function of the analgesic effect of his rage. In addition to the pain of injury, fear caused by injury is a big mental hurdle to overcome. A Victorian era dueling manual called Erin Codex gives the following instruction to physicians. If one duelist becomes unconscious at the first sight of blood, the seconds have to terminate the duel with the respective protocol meaning that apparently some people in a sword fight would pass out when they saw blood. Not a lot of psychological hit points there. In some cases, even if an injury is not in and of itself fatal, if you think it's fatal, your body can release toxic levels of catecholamines into your heart and give you a heart attack. This phenomenon is called psychosomatic death. On the opposite end of the spectrum, you have a guy like Phineas Gage, who in 1848 was working a construction job when a one and a quarter inch wide, three and a half foot long iron bar was propelled through his head by an explosion. Within a few minutes, he was walking and able to converse politely with his doctor, famously saying, Doctor, I have business enough here for you. That's a guy with some big round hit dice and exactly the kind of person you want fighting next to you in a nasty melee. So in a nutshell, the mental aspect of hit points is basically competitive toughness. The ability to play hurt, to tolerate pain, and to not get freaked out by your own injuries. That's it for this episode. Please leave questions and comments below. I love discussing this stuff. And as always, if you want to see more videos like this, please support us on Patreon. Thanks, guys. I'll see you next time.